Extremely disappointed, obviously. I, I We knew tonight was going to be a tough offensive night, wind, rain, all that stuff. But, um, you know, I don't think we played well. And, I mean, we made mistakes. You missed two field goals or had one blocked and missed one and turned the ball over in the red zone. We had three turnovers. You know, we're top 20 in the country and not turning the ball over. And, and uh and we turned it over three times. And uh, defense kept us in it. Man, they played great. And, uh, you know, to lose by three with two missed field goals and and a turnover down there, a touchdown where we run into the official. I mean, it was just uh, so many things had to go perfect to lose and only lose by three, and they did. And so the guys are down, and, uh, you know, now we're, now we're in wait mode. And, um, you know, we got one game left, maybe two, and we're, we're, we got a lot we, we can work on. But proud of the growth of our defense and the way they played. And, uh, put us really in a good position to win the game. And offense, who we've relied on a lot this year, they didn't get it done. How much of the offensive struggles, if you will, was weather versus what they were doing? Uh, most of it was weather. I mean, they, they, they did load the box. You know, I, I have two or three calls I wish I, I had back, you know, between me and Coach Evans, you know, uh, where they where I, I didn't think we, we could have called a better play once or twice. But, but the drop passes are tough i mean a couple of them right through the hands when it's soaking wet out there stuff i thought john john missed two or three throws uh one we had a touchdown on a scramble that he just he pulled the string on it worst thing that can happen is the guy's wide open and you don't really rip it uh so there's just you don't need many of those you just need one thing to go your way you need one field goal to go your way you need one of those passes to go your way uh and hold on to the ball you know so uh so yeah, I think I think the weather had something to do with it, but we're good enough to execute in this in this weather, and, and we have to do a better job. You mentioned the waiting game. What will that be like for you guys rooting for Toledo? Yeah, well, you know, we normally root against Central anyway. Uh, so, but we're going to root for Toledo. Obviously, we'd love to play one more game, and and um, you know, we put ourselves in a position that that unfortunately that we have to you know see what happens. You know, and we're excited about a bowl game, and, and so we're going to have extra practice with these guys to get to continue to get better and. I think we're fairly healthy. We got a couple guys banged up, but they, I think they're going to be okay. They all came back, and uh, but it's unfortunate you got to play a waiting game. But I'd rather play a waiting game than be done right now. Uh, he came back, obviously, so it appears Levante's okay. But what's going through your head when you're walking out of that field? I was just hoping for him and his future, really. To be honest with you, I mean, he slipped and got and caught, just caught his twisted his knee more than anything. You know, uh, I think it's just a sprain. They 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 checked all the angles and looked pretty good when he got got up, but. But he, it wasn't a force injury. There was no no one that hit him on the side or anything like that. So, um, so I was ho- I was hopeful, you know. And he's tough as nails. And uh, the, the adjustments we made at halftime were, were huge in our run game to try to run into that loaded box, knowing passing was going to be hard. And and then we got him going. You know, we stuck to really one or two run plays the whole second half, uh, which were best into what they were doing, loading the box. And and so he did have a great second half after getting injured, which is he's mental. He's a mentally tough kid. Obviously, the outlook on the season can change drastically between now and next weekend, but you're done with the regular season. How would you evaluate this portion? Uh, you know, fr- frustrated, obviously. I mean, I, I'm frustrated with the, the two road losses, close losses, losses in the last minute. We lost two games in the last minute, you know, between Eastern and here. And those are games that I think we're good enough to win. And, and I really, I think Eastern, and you know, we had a chance to stop and we couldn't. And this one, we had that we needed to score. And it, it, so it was one kind of one on both sides, you know, and. Uh, but I thought they competed. I think they're playing hard. I think we're continuing to improve. Uh, we're in every single game, which is a great sign. And, um, you know, so I, I, like, I like where we're headed. Uh, I wish today would end differently. But, uh, you know, we're still going to watch that game on Friday and see if we get two more games instead of one. Say anything to Deshaun Bustle? Nothing. I just, I just told him, I said, hey, catch Tuck. You know, he's a young kid, freshman, going to be a great player. And, uh, you know, and John made a great read on that play, read the free. We'd been working the boundary most of the day, and they – they spun to the boundary on that one, and, and he went to the field, and it was a great, th- great start to a two-minute drill to be crossed 50 on the first play. And, and uh, you know, he's got a lot of bright days in, in, in front of him. Yelling at him's not going to do any good. You know, same way with John overthrew the scramble. I, well, I'm not going to yell at John. He, he knows. He's harder on himself than I am, which – and those kids are harder on themselves than I can be because uh, they care so much about each other. And, and um, you know, so that's, that's what you want in a team. You don't want to have to get on them. You want them to – to, to feel so bad that you got to put your arm around him, and that's what I did, and and um, you know he'll bounce back.